during MK Ultra. Um, I mean, it was essentially a continuation of work that started in concentration camps, and they actually brought people that worked in concentration camps into the MK Ultra project to help them, basically. Uh, when I say concentration camps, yes, those 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 concentration camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They brought in they brought brought in Nazi scientists. Feels like you could have predicted that you were doing something that wasn't great when you brought in Nazi scientists. Yeah, I feel like as soon as you add them in, yeah, that's that's probably the point where you ask, are we doing the bad thing? Foreshadowing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Tori, I think the way you say Nazi makes it a bit more cutesy than it should be. <laughs> Nazis, the Nazis. <laughs> Ooh, the Nazis. <laughs> Naughty Nazis. I, I'm sorry. Hold on. Shall we? Shall I try that again? How, how should I say it to better to Nazi. better communicate? Oh, no. Nazi <laughs> with anger. Mm. I don't think I can do it. Nazi. Nazi. No. 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 You're making it worse. Okay. Right. Just, so <laughs> just talk about science. <laughs> Again, so I'll say I use the word scientist very loosely here. They were basically people that tortured people um, just to see what would happen. But they wrote it down. Yeah. Yeah, they wrote a lot of it down. And so these these scientists came in and they these were people that did vivisections, so literally cutting open living people and they were like, "Yeah, let's let's use these guys to help build our experiments uh on more people." Uh so at least 25 of the experiments that they ran uh were on people that didn't know that they were a part of an experiment. Uh, and some of them didn't even know when the drugs started kicking in and they started getting super high on psychedelics. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This was not this was not a very this was not a very good sort of set of experiments. They were they were pretty bad. So bad in fact that these are the exact same sort of things that uh Nazis were, I guess, tried for during the Nuremberg Nuremberg trials. Hmm. Wow, why can't I say anything? Which was that run well? by whom? The, 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 run by whom? The West, potentially. Oh right. <laughs> Yeah, maybe yeah, we yeah, could yeah. have foreseen this. Yeah, basically, uh, what what the US did or what the CIA did here was take all the bad guys and said, "Hey, come work for us to do some to do some secret work that is also bad," and they just got away with it because it's the CIA. Anyway, let's get into the actual experiments, right? During MK Ultra, um, I mean, it was essentially a continuation of work that started in concentration camps and they actually brought people that worked in concentration camps into the MK Ultra project to help them basically uh, when i say concentration camps yes those 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 concentration camps yeah. yeah yeah they brought in they brought brought in nazi scientists feels like you could have predicted that you were doing something that wasn't great when you brought in nazi scientists yeah i feel like as soon as you add them in yeah. That's that's probably the point where you ask, are we doing the bad thing? Foreshadowing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tori, I think the way you say Nazi makes it a bit more cutesy than it should be. <laughs> Nazis. The Nazis. <laughs> Ooh, the Nazis. <laughs> Ooh. Naughty Nazis. I, I'm sorry. Hold on. Shall we? Shall I try that again? How, how should I say it to better to Nazi. better communicate? Oh, no. Nazi <laughs> with anger. Mm. I don't think I can do it. Nazi. Nazi. No. 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 You're making it worse. Okay. Right. Just, so <laughs> just talk about science. <laughs> Again, so I'll say I use the word scientist very loosely here. They were basically people that tortured people um, just to see what would happen. But they wrote it down. Yeah. Yeah. They wrote a lot of it down. And so these these scientists came in, and they these were people that did vivisections, so literally cutting open living people. And they were like, "Yeah, let's let's use these guys to help build our experiments uh, on." more people. Uh, so at least 25 of the experiments that they ran uh, were on people that didn't know that they were a part of an experiment. Uh, and some of them didn't even know when the drugs started kicking in and they started getting super high on psychedelics. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This was not, this was not a very, this was not a very good sort of set of experiments. They were, they were pretty bad. So bad, in fact, that these are the exact same sort of things that uh, Nazis were, I guess, tried for during the Nuremberg Nuremberg trials. Hmm. Wow, why can't I say anything Which was that? run well, by whom? The, the, run by whom? The West, potentially. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah, we yeah, could yeah. have foreseen, foreseen this. <laughs> yeah, basically uh, what, what the US did or what the CIA did here was take all the bad guys and said, hey, come work for us to do some, to do some secret work that is also bad. And they just got away with it because it's the CIA. Anyway, let's get into the actual experiments, right? Please. 
So as I said up top, uh, the, the program had more than 150 human experiments and they used MDMA, barbiturates, mescaline, heroin, methamphetamine, psilocybin, hypnosis, electroshock therapy. They did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so much so that we're only going to be talking about LSD today because that's that's really all we're going to have time for. Um, and as I said, sometimes people knew they were uh, participating in a study. Other times they didn't, even when they started to, you know, <laughs> start to start to trip essentially um and a lot of the tests were done at universities hospitals or prisons but there were also detention centers throughout europe and east asia and particularly sort of japan germany the philippines uh which america controlled during the sort of um early 50s and basically the reason they started doing stuff there is because they didn't need to worry about laws in those places because they could just do what they wanted just like guantanamo yeah just like guantanamo exactly yeah oh my gosh this is this reminds me a lot of the episode we did on the tuskegee syphilis experiment thank you this will get more fun in a second by the way guys okay i was about to get a bit more fun <laughs> yeah they're not start taking the drugs yet the lsd kicks in in our water over here matt and we'll be, we'll be feeling <laughs> like it. it is it's a fine line between torture and having a real fun time isn't it it's just like yes. knowing that you're involved in it. <laughs> I mean, generally, yeah. Because, I mean, you know what? They they didn't just do this on people that didn't know what was going on. Initially, the experiment started um, as self-experimentation. So CIA officers were experimenting with LSD on themselves, which to me just sounds like they were getting high and being paid for it. Please tell me you've got the descriptions from when they tested them on soldiers and the soldiers knew and then they wrote down like that the soldiers became really rubbish soldiers. Have you got this stuff? I don't have all of oh, that it's stuff. Brilliant. There's all this stuff where they're just like we gave it to a bunch of soldiers and they just kept on like giggling and like being absolutely useless <laughs> soldiers and so uh, we stopped giving them LSD. <laughs> I had read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it because they gave it to soldiers essentially to make them more compliant. You know, if you want if you want if you want a soldier, you want someone that follows orders really well. So they're like, oh yeah, let's just give them this and try and make them follow orders. And, and they, they just didn't. kept giggling. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> as I said, this took place between sort of 1953 and 1964, most of the experiments. But we don't actually have a lot of information on them because they destroyed the records in 1973 because they didn't want to get in trouble for it. And in the early... <laughs> right? Uh, do it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Look, I feel like at every point along the way... They must have known they were doing something bad. There was there was no way you could not think, I'm the bad guy in this, right? Yeah, it's hard. They must have been. Pr- you'd have to be pretty high to not think you're doing bad things. Funnily <laughs> enough, <laughs> I mean, actually saying that in the early 1950s, Sidney Gottlieb almost single-handedly arranged uh, to buy the entirety of the world's supply of LSD for the CIA. So he spent $240,000, I believe, of 1950s money. So that's a lot of money. Uh, How much LSD? I mean, like, LSD, you don't need a lot of LSD. Right, but bear in mind, back in the 50s, LSD would have been fairly uh, scarce, right? Because uh, it was only first synthesized in 1943. Now, well, they sell it on every street corner. <laughs> well, I mean, if you, know where to, if you know where to look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on, I didn't even think about that, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so, you know where to look? Australia. That's where it was from. <laughs> Yeah, our streets are paved with LSD down here. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> don't want to fall over. No, no. Uh, 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 <laughs> not again. Sorry, boss. I can't come in today. Had another fall. It happened again. <laughs> <laughs> and I had another trip. It was right there. Ah. It was right there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he brought uh, the entire world supply of LSD to the United States and started giving it to hospitals, clinics, prisons, essentially just asking them to uh, give it to people and just note down what happened. They did. They were very careful to make sure that they weren't uh, being obvious that it was the CIA giving this out. So, you know, the CIA was basically doing what the CIA does, the buying up a bunch of drugs and then secretly distributing it. And distributing. then going on to call Timothy Leary the most dangerous man in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to explain that one? So Timothy Leary was a guy who, ra- who like, I can't, he kind of ran a, a bunch of sort of cults type things. Do you guys know about Timothy Leary? No. Yeah. So he was, he basically was the guy, I think he's the guy who, who coined the phrase, tune in, turn it, tune on, turn on, tune in, drop out. Um, and he was sort of, this, this like created a wave of dropouts in America. You can see on, a, like if you, if you look at a graph of like the number of dropouts, like college dropouts, um, it is correlated with him existing and he encouraged lsd use he kind of ran sort of like cults or kind of like um like religion sort of things it was to do with like creating a that kind of the hippie movement um and uh he was 
quite responsible for a lot of people taking quite a bit of LSD. Um, and he was called by someone in the American government, possibly, possibly even Nixon, um, the most dangerous man in America because mm. um, they believed he threatened sort of the American, the American, uh, uh, what would it, what would you call it? Establishment? Yes, possibly, yeah. Well, <laughs> but just like kind of the, like having a work ethic, um, like general capitalist goals, because people were just sort of dancing and like getting high and listening to music and stuff, um, and they weren't working. How terrible. They should be working. So as I said, they distributed it to a bunch of different organizations, but also they were slipping it into their own drinks when they were, <laughs> when they were sort of testing on sort of themselves in the CIA. In fact, there was a CIA Office of Security report uh, that, <laughs> that apparently said uh, it did not recommend testing in the Christmas punch bowls usually present at office parties. <laughs> yeah, they were spiking each other, essentially, <laughs> just for fun. And science. Science.